is Floyd Mayweather ducking Manny Pacquiao. At this point in time, I would say, technically, he is. And what I mean by that is, Floyd has come out and basically admitted that he is the reason why the fight is not taking place at this particular moment in time. Because Floyd has come out and said categorically he will not work with Bob Arum under any circumstances. He will not. And that therefore means that Floyd is the one preventing the fight from happening. Because Bob Arum has said that he is willing to work with Floyd Mayweather. Um, Manny Pacquiao obviously still wants the Mayweather fight. Definitely for many reasons and at the moment it seems financial reasons are a big part of it because apparently Manny Pacquiao has not been making the money that a lot of people f seem to think he's been making and you know questions have to be asked really of his uh <laughs> promoter Bob Arum if Manny Pacquiao's having money issues or maybe Pacquiao's financial team around him I mean the guy has an icon in the Philippines and one of the biggest stars in boxing there's no way that someone like him should be having financial problems unless he's really been ripped off behind the scenes so it is what it is but at this point in time Mayweather is not willing to work with Bob Arum and therefore a Pacquiao fight can't be made so technically you could say Floyd is ducking do I think he's scared of Pacquiao no I don't think Floyd's scared of Pacquiao a lot of people seem to think he is I mean, I don't know. I'm not in Floyd's head. But personally, my interpretation of the situation is I don't think Floyd's scared of Manny Pacquiao. I just think it's a... I don't know, man. Floyd Floyd loves to be in control. Is He definitely... Him and Bob Arum definitely hate each other. I think Floyd don't trust Bob Arum. And when you're talking about making a lot of money, when you're talking about entering into a financial... Um, into financial dealings with someone... It's difficult to enter into some type of financial transaction with someone if you don't trust them. And I'm, like I say, I'm 100% sure that Floyd Mayweather don't trust Bob Arum. And they've obviously got long history. Floyd used to be signed to Bob Arum, so he feels like he knows the guy and knows what he's all about. So, um, you know, I think it's just <laughs> a, a, a clash of egos between Floyd and Arum rather than Floyd being scared of Manny Pacquiao at this particular stage. Now, in years gone by, I do think there was a time when Floyd did see Pacquiao as a threat. That's my personal belief. I think in years gone by, he did kind of look at Pacquiao and think, maybe this guy really is a threat. But <clears throat> I don't necessarily think he sees that now. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really sure that he sees that now. I think that was in years gone by because if you remember after the uh, third Marquez fight, Floyd actually called Pacquiao out and said, let's get the fight done. Um, I believe for uh, it was May at the time um, after the third Marquez fight you know Pacquiao looked bad and Floyd decided yep I want to fight you now so you know Floyd was willing to work with Aaron back then you know and he was willing to fight Pacquiao then but it was Pacquiao and Aaron who decided it wasn't the right time to take that fight at that particular moment because they felt maybe Pacquiao wasn't at his best and he needed he needed to come back and you know fight Marquez again and, and look better before taken on Floyd so it was actually Aram and Pacquiao that prevented the fight happening after the third Marquez fight whereas now it seems more like it's Floyd so you know you could call it ducking but personally I don't believe that it's anything to do with a fear of Manny Pacquiao like a lot of people seem to think it is um, I just think it's an ego situation you know ego driven and a clash and it's, 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 it's all foolishness at the end of the day because in years gone by these kind of things didn't really happen especially not at the very top of boxing normally in years gone by when there was a rivalry like Pacquiao against uh, Floyd that kind of rivalry the fights always happened in the end the only time when a seriously big fight didn't happen was Riddick Bowe um, in, in recent memory anyway was when Riddick Bowe uh, didn't fight Lennox Lewis because Riddick Bowe's trainer Eddie Futch prevented the fight from happening he came out and admitted it he prevented the fight from happening because he didn't feel like Riddick Bowe was ready for that fight. I mean, he, you know, it was right after Lennox Lewis knocked out Razor Ruddock and Bowe had beaten Holyfield and Foch didn't feel Bowe was ready to face Lennox Lewis at that, at that point in time, especially after what happened in the Olympics a couple years earlier. So, um, yeah, 
Uh, drop your comments below. What do you think about, about the whole situation? Do you even want to see Pacquiao Mayweather at this point? I know Pacquiao looked dominant against um, uh, Brandon Rios, but that was a style that was tailor-made for him. You know, So we need to see him against boxers. We need to see him against someone that has some type of you know, boxing ability. Marquez definitely has Pacquiao's number. He's definitely Pacquiao's um, nemesis in the boxing world. It doesn't necessarily mean that Floyd would be able to beat Pacquiao in the manner that Marquez did. Yes, Floyd has beaten Marquez. Floyd is a counterpuncher, but it's more complex than that. Marquez knows Pacquiao's moves. He's been in the ring with him several times. He knows what he does by now. He knows Pacquiao's rhythm. But Pacquiao getting in the ring with Floyd, Floyd would be facing a whole new fighter, something he's never seen before. A guy with attributes and speed he's never seen before. So I don't necessarily think that's an easy fight for Floyd Mayweather. I think Pacquiao would still be a tricky opponent. I would pick Mayweather to win. But I still think that's a tricky opponent for Floyd. I don't see that. I don't see him beating Pacquiao as comprehensively as Marquez did in the sense of landing constant clean punches and you know, being able to drop Pacquiao several times. I, I'm not so confident that Floyd can do that because this will be, you know, it would be the first time he stepped in the ring with Pacquiao. Um, I don't know whether the fight's going to happen. At this stage, to be honest with you, I don't really care if the fight happens or not. If it, if it happens, cool. I'll definitely watch it. I'll be interested. But if it don't happen, at this stage, I'm really not that bothered anymore because... I think that the fact that a fight hasn't happened for so long, the fact that Pacquiao has picked up a few losses, you know, since his heyday when, you know, him and Mayweather were, were, were constantly linked in the same breath every time. Um, it's kind of taken the luster off the fight. I mean, Floyd's only got a few fights left. And, and as far as I'm concerned, there's, there's other good fights out there for Floyd Mayweather. You know, the Erislandi Lara fight is the fight I really want to see. Um, Keith Furman is on the on, on the rise. So there's other fights out there for Floyd that are interesting fights other than Pacquiao. So at this particular stage, like I say, if the fight happens, it happens. I watch it. But if it don't happen, I'm not really that concerned. Um, I still believe that Pacquiao has seen better days, even though he looked, you know, he looked fairly good against Rios, but it was a tailor-made opponent for him. I still believe Pacquiao's seen better days, man. I think... I don't think he can be the same Manny Pacquiao that beat Oscar De La Hoya and Ricky Hatton and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess time will tell, but I still feel that he's not quite the same as he used to be. Um, you know, but as far as Floyd Mayweather's concerned, he's probably going to fight Amir Khan or Marcus Maidana, <laughs> which to me is, is disappointing because I believe there's much better opponents out there for him. Um, even Sean Porter would be a better opponent than Maidana or... Uh, uh, Khan as far as I'm concerned you know other people may disagree that's cool but I just I don't know man I don't know I'd like to see Floyd really challenge himself rather than take on you know someone like Khan and Madonna who I personally think he would have the beating of both of them um, some people think that Khan would give Floyd problems with his speed I think that's possible I think that's very possible Khan could give him problems with his speed but you know when, when you look at Khan against um who was the last guy that he? Uh, no, was it the, the uh, who did he fight last? Was it Diaz? I think he fought. Was it Diaz last? I think he fought Diaz last. God, my memory's not serving me too well at the moment. But in a Diaz fight, Diaz ain't got no speed, <laughs> you know. But he managed to catch Khan repeatedly in that fight and hurt him repeatedly. Um, Floyd Mayweather is a lot sharper than Diaz, you know, than Julio Diaz. Um, He's a lot more accurate than Diaz. Not like, not like Diaz is inaccurate, but basically what I'm saying is if a guy like Julio Diaz, who is fairly limited, let's be real, can catch Khan as easily as he did and hurt him as easy, easily as he did, I don't give Khan too much of a chance against Floyd Mayweather. You know, as I, Yes, he has speed. Yes, he has this, that, and the other, which could potentially trouble Floyd. But... His defense is so terrible, and as far as I'm concerned, his chin has got worse. So, those two uh, flaws in Khan's game, those two weaknesses, I think, take away from the positive attributes that he does have and take away from his ability to give Floyd any type of 
trouble because Khan has lost to several fighters now who are nowhere near as quick as he is. <laughs> right? So yeah, the speed is a good attribute, but it in, on several inst on several occasions it hasn't been enough to uh, make up for his deficiencies and his weaknesses. So it is what it is. But yeah, back to the topic at hand. Floyd, you could say is technically ducking Pacquiao, but you know, I think it's I don't think it's a case of Floyd being afraid. That's just me personally. If you disagree, please disagree below. Leave your comments. Everyone's point of view is valid. <clears throat> um and do you think the fight's gonna take place? Me personally, I don't. Other people do. I heard an interview with Eddie Hearn recently where he believes the fight actually will take place in September. Um, I've heard that same point of view or rumor from other people as well. I don't know, man. I don't know. If it happens, it happens. It's cool. Drop your comments below. How do you feel about the fight? Do you still want to see it? Are there other fights for Pacquiao and Mayweather which you would rather see out there? And what do you think would happen if Pacquiao and Mayweather finally do fight if it happened in September? What do you think would happen? Um, <laughs> before I go, um, there's obviously been a lot of, you know, uh, well... <laughs> Mayweather's basically been trolling Pacquiao, you know, over the past few days. He's posted a few pictures and um, Pacquiao's fans have responded with the Mayweather, a Mayweather a meme, a Duck Dynasty meme. And uh, it, it all started off when Mayweather posted some pictures or memes, whatever you want to call them, of him beating Pacquiao, him beating Madonna and him beating Amir Khan. And he also posted another picture, which was pretty funny. Of some guy, <laughs> right, which he found. I don't know if the guy's Filipino, uh, but he, he looked like he could be Filipino or, um, you know, some type of Asian. And he did, the caption on, on the photo was uh, Manny Roach. The guy looked like a cross between Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach. And he actually does. If you ain't seen the picture, just Google Manny Roach and you'll see the picture I'm talking about. It's pretty damn funny. <laughs> right? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, drop your comments below. Let me know what, how you feel about everything I've discussed in this video. This is Hatman. I'm out.